Hello, welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Love with Mary. Today I'm going to be showing you how I cook my rack of lamb. Uh, let me get my give my hands a quick wash, and I'm going to show you uh, how I do my rack of lamb. Now I have my ingredients already measured out. Okay, first, first I'm going to start off with my uh, half a cup of parsley. And hold on, just, just one minute. Hold on. Okay, got my parsley in. This is a uh, this is a two-third cup of rosemary and a third cup of ginger. And this is garlic powder, a one-fourth cup of garlic powder, one-eighth cup of uh, onion powder. And I'm gonna put in, this is Dijon mustard. This is a half a cup and one fourth cup of Dijon mustard. And I'm also gonna add in some olive oil, not by measurement, I'm just gonna put it in here and then just go by, you know, looking at it, how much I need in here. And this is a good recipe, I really love this uh, ram, the rack of lamb, using uh, this recipe. I've tried other recipes, but I really like this one the best. Okay, let me, uh, okay, I don't think I have enough olive oil in here. Uh, well, and just, let me just use it out of the bottle. Oh, okay. So you're just gonna pour it in here until you get. I'm gonna show you what it what it needs to look like. Cause see, I'm gonna marinate the lamb in this sauce for maybe four hours, and then I'm gonna put it on the grill, and I'm gonna put also put some pepper and salt on it. And rosemary pairs good with lamb. You know, I always make sure I use my rosemary. I have a little herb garden outside. I have fresh rosemary out there, so. Okay. I think, now this is what it should look like. Like this, when you put your olive oil in there. Okay. Now let me get my lamb. And I'm gonna put it in Ziploc bags. Uh, the gallon Ziploc bags. I'm gonna put the lamb in here. And then I'm gonna put this inside of the bag and just kind of move it around and get it all, you know, all over the lamb. Okay. Now, what I did to my lamb also. What I did to my lamb also, I soaked it in vinegar and uh, like a half a cup of vinegar and you take your water and make sure you put it above the meat. And I soaked it for like 24 hours and then I rinsed it off. And then I put some Dale seasoning, maybe a half a cup of Dale seasoning uh, in there. And then I put water again, uh, make sure it's covered with water over my meat and overnight again. It's just to give it a good taste, you know. So, it's up to you if you want to do it that way. So, I'm going to try to put, let me see, 12 to a bag. I might have to get 10 to a bag. I'm going to see. I don't want to overcrowd it. Mm 
Now that's 10. Uh, let me see. I hate to uh, do one, another bag for this. I'm just going to try to put it in here like this. Okay. So I'm going to take this and divide it up between both bags. Okay. And, and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment and let me know, you know, what you think about this recipe. And tell, make sure you tell all your friends about it. So, I'm just gonna, you know, shake it around like this to try to get it all over the meat. I might have to stick my hand in there, but uh, let's see, to get it all over. And then through the night, what I do is I get up at night and I take it and I flip it over. You know, once you see it kind of set in your bag, it goes to the bottom and then I flip it over. And I'm going to put my pepper and salt on it tomorrow before I put it on the grill. Okay. And it's kind of hard to find now doing this COVID-19. I mean, it just, it just, I have to go to so many different stores to try to find it. So, I finally, I went to two stores and I, I ran up on this lamb. Boy, I was like, oh, wait. Okay. Move it around in here. Let me see this one. And like I said, I might have to stick my hand in here and all, uh, you know, kind of move it around. Make sure it all gets all over my meat. Okay, let me see. I don't want to miss any of this. Let me go get a spatula and just make sure I scrape all this off this bowl. Okay. Okay. So I I never did this recipe in the oven. I have already always uh cooked this on the grill. I just like the way you know it cooks on the grill. And it don't take very long. And I also uh like to forget uh my mustard seeds. I always put mustard seeds on them. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little here in the bag. Okay. Ooh. Don't wanna open. Let me see, can I get this? Okay. Just bear with me. Get this open. Okay, now, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some mustard seeds in here. Now, okay, and I like to forget my mustard seeds. And mustard seeds give, give it a good taste too, also. Now look, look at that, now that, that looks pretty. Look at that. Now this, this seed is gonna sit in there all, by at least four hours. Now, like I said, you can do it uh, for 24 hours. That will make it even better. So, okay. So, when after four hours, I'll be back and I'm going to get this on the grill. And I'll, we're going to see. Then, I think it like takes about, uh, on the grill, it takes maybe, uh, I'm going to say maybe an hour. Not very long. Because I put it on indirect heat. I don't put it directly on the heat. So I'll see you in four hours. Hey, I'm back. 
after four hours, I've taken it out of the refrigerator where I had it, my uh, lamb marinating. So now I'm getting ready to put my lamb on the grill. And first of all, I'm going to spray my grill down uh, just with a little oil just to keep it from sticking. Okay. And I'm going to put it skin, put the skin up. And like I say, I'm putting it on the indirect heat. So once I put it on here, I won't have to come back and until it's ready. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get it all over. I'm trying not to put it on. Uh, I have so much of it, I'm gonna try my best to not put it where my heat is because I don't want it to cook too fast. Yep, so that looks beautiful. Okay. And you can, if you, if you wanna do this recipe, now you can put it on direct heat but you have to watch it, you know, because lamb really don't take long to cook. So I'm going to get this all on the grill here. Let me see. Because I'm, I'm, I'm getting close to my heat now, so let me see. I want to get it all on there. I don't want to have to come back and... Uh, take this off and put more on so I'm gonna try my best to get it all on there and uh and, and if you look in my pan here you see this right here now you can take your brush and just brush that on there while it's cooking it's just olive oil and, and the seasoning that I use okay so I got that on Let me see, can I get this one back here? Okay, so when I when I when I come back, you will see the finished product. Okay, I'm back with the finished product. If you can see, it's uh it's all done here and looking beautiful. So I'm gonna get it off the grill and I'm gonna plate it up. So it, it was set at uh well my and my grill was like uh 400 350 to 400 but you know being on the indirect side it really didn't burn it or anything because it wasn't on the direct heat so yeah and i know you can see those mustard seeds that's the mustard seeds uh you know give it a try you know, and when you try it, let me know, and we can have a conversation about it. Let me know how you like it. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to uh, plate it up. I have some cream potatoes I'm going to put on here. So, let's see. Okay. Here I go. It's a hand. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put me a few uh, cream potatoes on my plate. Okay. And I just love my lamb with cream potatoes. 
think that's the best side for it. Okay. Now I'm going to put me some of this beautiful lamb here on this plate. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, you know, hit the like button and tell me, uh, uh, leave a comment also and tell me, you know, what you think about this recipe. And if you try it, really, you know, just let me know what you think about this recipe. So I'm going to give it a taste here. It's kind of hot, though. It just gotten off the grill. Woo. Smoking hot. Woo, woo. Let me see. Get me a little piece here. That is delicious. So like I say, the, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And just let me know, you know what you think about this recipe. And tell your friends about it. Bon appetit.